Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn about lateral surface area that is LSA and total surface area TSA of solids. So you all already have learnt about the basics, the formula, how to calculate. Since we are focusing on GPSTR exam 2022 and this topic is given in the syllabus. I am moving directly to the solutions or numericals to solve. Let us just have a glance of the formula and then we will move to the numericals or problems. The formula to calculate LSA, lateral surface area is also called as curved surface area CSA for cube is 4A square and TSA total surface area is 6A square. For cuboid, 2H of L plus B is CSA and TSA is 2 of L into B length into breadth plus B into H breadth into height plus H into L. This is for TSA. For cylinder, 2 pi R into H is the CSA. TSA is 2 pi R into R plus H. For cone, pi R L of CSA for TSA pi r r plus l for a sphere both same for CSA and TSA 4 pi r square and 4 pi r square for a hemisphere half of the sphere right for 2 pi r square for lateral surface area for total surface area it is 3 pi r square and for prism, CSA is perimeter of the base, perimeter of the base into height. Already we have learnt about the perimeter of the basic uh, geometrical figures, plane figures. The link is given in the description box. Please check for the video. And uh, TSA, total surface area of prism is LSA, means this value, plus 2 of area of the base. For first term of cone pi into r1 plus r2 into l is CSA. For total surface area pi of r1 plus r2 into l plus r1 square plus r2 square. So these are the formulae. They mean important formulae. Okay. So let's move into the solutions now. The height of a right circular cylinder is 14 centimeter and the radius of its base is 2 centimeter. Find CSA that is curved surface area and we can mark cylinder curved surface area. Immediately we have to remember this formula. Please practice CSA of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into h. Okay, what are given in the sum let us list out. When you list out the given in the sum and if you find out what to be calculated or what to be find uh, found out in the question, the half of the sum is already over. So let us write down. The height of a right circular cylinder is 14 centimeter. So h is equal to 14 centimeter. Radius of its base is 2 centimeter. Find CSA. So we know the formula and in the formula R and H is already given here directly substituted 2 into pi values 22 by 7 in this case of numericals don't substitute the pi value as 3.14 directly substitute 22 by 7 for easy calculation into r value is 2 h value is 14 7 ones are 7 twos are 14 so just multiply 2 into 22 into 2 into 2 it gives an answer 176 centimeter square okay so for the area remember this and you no need to convert this into meter and then to substitute you can directly substitute for this value and keep the final answer in centimeter square only next one a clown's cap is in form of a right circular cone of base radius 7 centimeter and height is 24 centimeter Find the area of the sheet required to make 10 such caps. 
so this clown's cap in means uh, in the circus you would have seen this jokers right their cap okay is in form of circular cone so we have to remember that something is to be calculated with the cone here they didn't ask anything about the volume here how much to be filled in that cone no here they asked how much of sheet required to make some cap so it is they are speaking about the curved surface area even though directly they did not mention about curved surface area you are making few caps okay of which size the sizes are given above let us list out what is given base of radius 7 cm r is equal to 7 cm and height is 24 cm h is equal to 24 cm find the area of the sheet required to make the 10 such caps so when they give just a plane it is understood that csa curved surface area for this cone you can observe in this diagram we know that in the base from the center radius and this will be the height and slant height will be the length okay therefore the formula to calculate csa of cone is pi r into l we know the value of r here given l is not given how to calculate l we already know according to the pythagoras theorem you see here inside there is there forms a right angle triangle inside the cone so this radius this base is the radius 7 cm is given and they have given um this height is given 24 okay so if you know this two sides the other side in the right angle triangle you can calculate using pythagoras theorem l square is equal to r square plus h square then l is equal to square root of r square plus h square substitute the value 7 square and 24 square you find out and get the answer for square root value that is 25 is the answer and you got the answer of l now substitute the value of l here i have substituted first l and r here so i have written the formula here again so pi l into r pi value is 22 by 7 l value is 25 which you have calculated here r value is 7 so on 7 7 cancelling 25 into 22 gives us 550 cm square for one cap okay for making 10 caps 550 into 10 gives us 5500 cm square on moving to the next one the inner diameter of a circular well is 2.8 meter and it is 10 meter deep even if you want you can draw a rough diagram also they are speaking about a well and inner diameter is 2.8 meter so what is given diameter is 2.8 meter and it is deep 10 meter deep so that is nothing but the height okay this forms a cylindrical form so you can remember the well if you calculate like this height is nothing but depth okay h is equal to 10 meter find the inner curved surface area so csa question mark and also find the cost of plastering this curved surface area at the rate of 42 per per meter square okay rupees 42 per meter square and hence we have to find the csa of cylinder the formula for csa of cylinder is 2 pi r into h okay you can just remember in case of a cylinder so two things are acting on it one is either they would have given the radius a diameter and the height they should be the given values if not you can directly convert it so here diameter is given convert diameter into radius radius is equal to diameter by 2 diameter is 2.8 divided by 2 gives us 1.4 i am moving with this calculation to little fast to these are you are known to it you are used to it so focus on this substitution 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into r value is 1.4 meter into h is 10 so on cancelling of uh, seven ones are here you can simplify you see it is 1.4 you shift to one point on the other side if it is written 14 denominator you add one zero already you have seven add one zero hence you can make this as a whole number 14 by 70 so this become 40 by 14 by 70 one zero one zero of this 10 get cancelled 
seven ones are seven twos are fourteen. Only two remains here. Hence, two into twenty two into two gives us eighty eight meters square. Simplifications you can do in your own method, whichever you feel easy. Okay, don't multiply all this and don't divide this and such. Okay, you can directly simplify it, cancel off the possible ways. Therefore, CSC of the cylinder you got eighty eight meters square. Cost of plastering per meter square is forty two rupees. For eighty eight meter square, multiply eighty eight into forty two gives us rupees. Three thousand six hundred and ninety-six. This is the answer. Okay, so actually these kind of sums in the mensurations are very easy, provided that you have to remember the formula which is used. Just be thorough with the formula, practice, write, write, and practice, and it has to be registered in your mind. And easy ways of remembering the formula, you can imagine the objects. Each one of you will have your own method of remembering the formula. Okay. So where it has a plain formula, you can remember. For example, in case of cylinder, just two pi r into h. We are dealing with only r and h there. Then if it is a TS, a total surface area of cylinder, with two pi r, h is there plus r you are adding. Okay, like that you can remember. In case of sphere, no problem. Both CSA and TSA same. Four pi r square, four pi r square. Like that you can remember the formula. It will be easy for the calculation. So, on moving to the next sum, the diameter of a garden roller is one point four meter, and it is two meter long. Diameter is one point four meter, two meter long. How much area will it cover in five revolutions? Revolutions means five rotations. So, imagine the garden roller. So, how it is? It is in form of cylinder, right? Like this roller. So immediately, cylinder has to flash in your mind, and list out the given. Diameter is equal to one point four meter. Find out the radius. In cylinder, only two things. What are they? Radius and height. Okay. So R value we need. Convert this uh, diameter value into R value by dividing by two with proper unit. It both are given in meter, so no problem. And height is given two meter long. So this long, this length is nothing but the height. Okay. Height is equal to two meter. What we have to calculate? How much area will it cover in five revolution? So roller will roll like this, right? So when it rolls like this, one rotation, CSA that gives us CSA. CSA of cylinder is equal to two pi r into h. Substitute the value two pi value, r value and h value. So I told if it is in the de decimal places in the numerator. Shift one point or two points, whatever required points. Denominator add zeros, and you can calculate like that. That will be easy. So on solving like that, you get the answer as eight point eight meters square, and that is for one revolution CAC circle uh, curved surface area. Therefore, for five revolutions of the area covered is eight point eight into five gives us forty four meters square. Okay, actually these kind of sums, the um, question looks lengthy, but once you know the given value and what to be calculated, substitute and you can just uh, solve it. Okay. We shall move to the next one. Find the surface area of a sphere of radius seven centimeter. So here just about sphere is given and surface area. You know, whenever we deal with surface area of sphere, both are same. For lateral and total surface area, what is the formula? Four pi r square. Only r value we must know. If r value is directly given, you can directly substitute. If not, diameter is given. Divide by two, you will get r value. So radius is seven centimeter. Surface area of sphere is equal to four pi r square. Four value pi value is twenty two by seven into seven square. Seven square is seven into seven. Seven ones are seven ones are cancels. Multiply all this numerator six one six centimeter square is the answer. Okay, this will be asked for multiple choice questions also. Next one, find the total surface area of cuboid having length, breadth, and height for six centimeter, four centimeter, and two centimeters respectively. 
we have to cal calculate the total surface area. So formula to calculate so total surface area of a cuboid is 2 of L into B plus B into H plus H into L. Okay, you remember like this L, B, H, 2 of L into B, B into H, H into L. Okay, just a form of heart like this it follows. Next, given is L is equal to 6 centimeter, B is equal to 4 centimeter, H is equal to 2 centimeter. Substitute for the value. Be careful while substituting. Here there is a multiplication and it is plus here in between. L is 6 into 4 plus 4 into 2 plus 2 into 6. 6 4 is a 24, 4 2 are 8, 2 6 are 12. Add them, multiply with 2, you get the answer as 88 centimeter square. Next one, a cube is having its side measuring 3 centimeter. Find the lateral surface area of the cube. Lateral surface area or curved surface area both are same. For a cube, lateral surface area is equal to 4a square. If the side is given taken as a, if the side is taken as x, no problem, you can use as x also. So on one side it is taken 3 centimeter, that is the value of a. Substitute a square is 3 square. Don't multiply in a hurry, 3 2s are 6, don't write. 3 3 is a 9. Okay, 3 square is 3 3 is a 9. 4 9 is a 36. 36 centimeter square is the answer. When it is asked for descriptive type, please check with the unit and write the unit properly. Okay. So I hope it's clear for you how to substitute and to calculate. You got the confidence I feel so. Okay. So in next class, we will continue with the same frustum of cone frustum of cone and uh, along with this volume of the solids in the next video okay so if you are watching our channel for the first time please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to gpstr exam tet and central tet also especially our maths and science concepts okay thank you Thank you for watching.